Hi folks, I'm the bastard and with me as usual Crowley9 here And what we are about to do in here is to meet a certain person who is really Really a uh, team with that person Yeah I thought we'd go and check out this place a bit more before heading to the Obsidian Fortress, I believe it was called, and found this guy who was pretty, uh, uh he, year, he yawns, uh, for Master Bane. I don't know, he's like fucking brainwashed uh, little yeah. child. I mean, that guy wasn't really happy that we went and got that other guy killed, so I, I thought we'd see what he has to say by restoring an earlier game. Oh well, yeah, mm. he's rather rude, if I might say it. Uh, not just rude, but uh, how would I say it? Kind of uh, ignorant. Yeah, he's. Uh, in the end, it seems he's not really worth talking to, even. Yeah, he's, he's not really worth of talking. I mean, he is really obsessed with uh, the Master Bane or whatever that uh, guy's name is. No, ba Bane, is uh, the, Bane is the person with the boobs. It is? Yeah. Uh, Vardion is the guy we had killed. Oh. Well, uh, anyways... Um, whoever that... Uh, what, well, uh, anyways, the other guy who we killed, he is like really looking up to him a lot what I've seen and as for his attitude he's like really really arrogant yeah it's like I, I know everything even thought I don't know and at some point he <laughs> uh, the mas master Malture uh, I suppose uh, is he the head of the accolades? Yeah, he is. Yeah, uh, at some point he mentions that, uh, well, he, uh, the Master Melchins has never lied to him. He told him so. Which is a uh, kind of <laughs> interesting thing to say that, yeah, I have never lied to you. And mm. you, like, take my word for it and when someone says that, hey, that dude, can't I have lied to you and crap like that? And he's like, no, no, he hasn't because, you know, he told me so. Yeah, so apparently he, uh, actually it's Wardion who said that, not Malkir. Oh. Well, wh whoever, <laughs> it's been a while since I read this uh, script uh, from there. But uh, anyways, yeah, uh, this guy is really, really stupid. And I hope he dies. Yeah, so let's get back to going through the fortress place. Well, yeah, right now I suppose what we are supposed to do is uh, make the right kind of ingredients. Oh, there's the right kind of spells. Well, yeah, right kind of spells for right kind of ingredients. Yeah. Yeah, it's <clears throat> useful to make, well, pretty much all the spells you can. One interesting thing about this uh, part of the game, I'm not sure if it is relevant, but uh, is it just me or do you have to like set the uh, candles on right course? Like you have to put some red candles on left and right side in order to make a right kind of spell. Yeah, <clears throat> the, ooh, the candles you have down, it's, uh, they determine what spell you are making. Yeah, kind of interesting yeah. way of uh, doing spells, yeah, especially on a pentagram, I mean... <laughs> Yeah, uh, what we are trying to do now, I is that the demon's banishment stone? No, this is uh, this is just a spell to 
I believe extinguish things. In in in, in blah, 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 I can spell that word. In distinguish things. Yeah. Oh. oh, and here's the about of that Baron guy who also oversees law and order in uh, Tenebrae, but unfortunately we went and drowned him, so he isn't around. Oh yeah, that dude. Um, but I suppose we can still see him uh, in the summoning ritual. Actually, I'm not entirely sure about that, but I would at least hope that the ritual does go down now. Uh, without <laughs> problems nevertheless. Yeah, I mean, seriously, he's kind of an important character even thought he's an, an, an asshole. Yeah. Well, not really an asshole, I mean, he's just uh, looking for uh, justice and crap like that, you know. So no one does anything bad. Yeah, he's like Batman. He's like Batman, yeah, but more violent. Yeah, Batman usually doesn't blow people into pieces. Yeah, and this guy... <laughs> That's just freaking awesome. Yeah, don't mind me, I'm just looting your place while you're lying down on the ground with your guts spilled out. Yeah, I wonder if that demon ate his heart. Hmm, interesting. I have no idea. Well, at least he's dead now for sure uh, well we kinda have an item which we we theoretically could revive him but you know we ain't never going to use it on that purpose and it was the breath of wind or something oh yeah I suppose that might be used for things like that but besides uh well, considering that one guy was solely living because of it, and yeah. well, he died. <laughs> yeah, that. Anyway, here is the spell to snuff out flames. Snuff out fl flames. So, what was the name of that song? Extinguish. Yep. Uh, yeah. Evil things. Uh, I think those can be used to... Banish those demons, can it? Ah, uh, not as far as I know. Oh. There's a Did it have uh, a spell or stone its own? Yeah, for that it purpose? does. Now we make a spell to light up fires instead. Oh. Oh yeah. Mm, yeah. And you know, this is, this is really cool, I mean. You can make spells and stones like that, you know. Yeah. By inserting them on a uh, pentagram and then inserting some uh, ingredients in there and then you say like, in flames and poof, yeah. you get your spell. I, you know, I much prefer so, you know, a magic that, well, how would I say that requires some effort and preparation ritual in fiction rather than just going poof I throw a fireball at, at the attacking troll. Oh well, yeah, I mean it gives uh, magic a whole new purpose. Yeah. I mean seriously, un unlike, uh, well we have talked this before, but unlike in these uh, days games, you have just this mana meter and that's pretty much it. You yeah. spam it all you like as long as you have mana. Yeah. But in this game you actually have to, uh, you know, think think about it uh, where you are using those magics and you'll have to use those magics at yeah. some points. And let's... and now we are doing the rest of the spells in the library since it's, well, closer to all the ingredients mainly. Don't you wish your library had a big pentagram on the floor? Well, it would be really neat, especially if it, if it would have some magic books, hmm. you know, in order to create those uh, magical items, then it would be like, oh, fucking awesome. And it would be kind of funny, I mean, I suppose the librarians would have to, like, 
watch after uh, what spell you are trying to do so you won't like try to summon, summon a demon you can't undo yeah um hmm that would make librarians a whole lot more badass well it totally would yeah uh, whoa whoa what is this well this was a Let's see, what was the name of this spell again? Uh, fire shield, maybe? But personally, I don't really find it all that useful since enemies can't, can't pass through that ring of fire. Insert Johnny Cash reference here. And, uh, but neither can Holy you. Holy shit, a teleportation spell, and that was fucking awesome. Yeah. I, di I didn't even know this game has uh, that kind of a spell. Yeah. And I suppose... Uh, can you go through walls with that? Uh, I'm not actually sure. I don't think I've ever tried. But I imagine you very well might. Well, you can try the next round. Yeah. Anyways, uh, what we are doing right now, I suppose we are making more spells. Yeah. Uh, I actually don't really remember what spell is coming up now. Mm. Well, one thing is for certain, those candles are lined up acidly, half <laughs> acidly. Yeah. And that but... one monk is in your way. Yeah. Kill him. <laughs> but really, um... I'm not really sure how accurate little candles need to be. What and the hell just happened to that one guy? Yeah, he kind of jumped around again. Hmm. I'm, but I was saying I'm not really sure how precisely the candles have to be in their places. And that guy just tried humping the table. Yeah, um, these guys are kind of bugged out. <laughs> yeah. Not that we mind, but you know, it's it's kind of silly how they like go like wow wow. Yeah, the physics in this game is sometimes kind of dodgy. Yeah, I don't suppose they have, have programmed them too well or just paid too much attention at those guys. Mm. Mm -mm. Anyways, um, did, what did those uh, arrow guy kind of things do? Or those metal bars? Uh, um, ah, a fire shield. Yeah. Okay, I suppose we are going to need one of those later on. Well, I'm not entirely sure, just making all the available spells uh, just in case. And I'll make a small switcheroo with the candles. Well, one thing is for certain, uh, there's a part in this game which you can mess up really bad. <laughs> I mean, seriously, really bad. Yeah. As and in, pretty much uh, you end up end up killing four more people along yourself, yeah. along with yourself. Yeah, you pretty much mess up with the uh, end of the world bad. Well, yeah. But, you know, it's nothing. It's the world of Pagan. Yeah. Who cares what happens to the locals? Ingredients. What did you say? Who cares what happens to the locals as long as the Avatar gets home? Well, yeah, I mean, seriously, Avatar in this game, he's a douchebag. <laughs> yeah. Though I hear that the never-finished expansion would have um, <clears throat> alleviated that somewhat. Oh. Well, yeah, which is kind of an unfortunate thing. Uh, I suppose... Well, no. I don't. Actually, I, I seriously don't. <laughs> okay, and I believe now we are going to make the demon banishing spell. Alright. We are going that to... will be fucking awesome, yeah. and 
I think we also can make demon summoning spell. Yeah, but um, <clears throat> those which spells... is even more fucking awesome. Yeah, but in the interests of survival and protection, we are going to make the banishing spell first. And uh, since they are best you uh, bound to those uh, talismans shaped like demon head and. That we are currently only have one of those, we will be only making this spell for now. Okay. Ooh, look at the glowing eyes. Mm. I'm not entirely sure, but I would imagine that the amount of charges you managed to put into those items depend on your intelligence level. Well, that would kind of make sense. Yeah. And now let's go see who else. Well, these are just nameless apprentices who don't really who are not good enough uh, to be uh, to summon a demon. <laughs> yeah. Now we are well prepared for all of stuff and this is the obsidian fortress where we go and be tested. Right then. Um, yes, um yeah. Hmm. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Uh, I suppose those two demons have something to do with the test? Yeah, they sure do. Your first test will be to deal with them. And of course you can kill them by normal means. Well. Which is kind of screwy on your part. <laughs> Especially if you don't know how to deal with them. Yeah. And he, he's like, hey, goodbye sucker. Yeah. You can just run past them. And here we have a f friendly demon. Oh, a parental demon. <coughs> hmm. And he's even going to offer some assistance by letting you use yes. the pentagram you see in the corner to prepare more spells if need be. Yeah, that is rather kind of a demon, I mean. Well, we have this guardian who sounds really kind, even but he's, well, <laughs> not too kind. How can a demon not have heard of Britain? No, well, it, more interesting thing is that this demon is named Arcadian, which implies he's the same demon who was bound in the Black Sword in Ultima 7. Oh. But, uh... Well, well, perhaps in that case it makes kind of a sense. I mean, mm. he's been in a black sword for like, for fucking ever, and he's like, uh, I finally got out. Where the fuck am I? And now he's like, well, okay, let's just help people out since I've killed him off. Yeah, but actually, uh, the explanation that you are given here is that might be possible that, well, uh, this is, a, a, for Arcadion, this happened before he was bound into the sword, or like long before he even uh, was in Britannia. So what you're saying <coughs> that we traveled back in time when we went into World of Pagan. Yeah, something like that. That makes just, well, okay, that makes just as much sense as traveling through those blue portals and time flo flowing differently in human world and uh, Britain world, but yeah, well, you know, yeah. just Ultima for you. But also Arcadian here explained what we actually need to do here, <coughs> which is to go around and collect symbols to prove that, hey, we've completed these tasks. Oh, yeah. Actually, think about it. Um, 
It would be kind of uh, cool if you would have to turn that demon into a black sword. Hmm. And interesting as well. Yeah, so he was already turned into a black sword in Ultima Well, Sim you know, I mean, if we are in the past, yeah, and then it means that in the past we turned that demon into a black sword, but in the future, before we even traveled into a past, we didn't don't didn't know that we have turned him into a sword. Uh, okay. Uh, now you know, I'm uh, starting to get confused as well. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, what's up next? Yeah, well, first let's make the spell for summoning demons since we found another one of those demon head talismans here. Oh. So right now we can make a spell of summoning demons or more banishing demons. Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. And I do apologize to all the um, fans out there who are watching this episode. I know it's a really boring episode. Actually, <laughs> we're just making ingredients. I possibly should have warned you guys earlier on, but you know, forget fool me. Yeah. Okay, we get to play with pentagrams and candles and make stuff go up in flames and act all satanic and such. Well, yeah, basically, yeah, much. Yeah. There'll be more action in the next video. Well, I hope so. Oh, there will be... There will be... There will be there blood. Will. Oh, more blood. Hey, uh, now we have... Uh, we have what? Let's see. More. So I managed to pick it up and actually... Talisman of Summoning, Summoning the Demon and Banishing Demon. Yep. Which are both really plot important. Yeah. Okay, and now here is the main section of the Obsidian Fortress. And we are running out of time, that so... we are also. Yeah, I am the bastard and... I'm Crowley9. See you next time, guys. Yep.